The assigned parts document contains all the information for the parts we will manufacture in this video series. The first section of the document contains a detailed outline of the manufacturing steps we will follow when making these parts. The second section of the document contains a list of the points we want you to understand after watching the videos. The third and final section of the document presents two detailed drawings for the parts we will manufacture, and each of the drawings contains the relevant dimensions, tolerances, and associated notes for each part. Now let's talk about the four major regions of a proper engineering detailed drawing. The drawing views, the title block, the tolerance table if it has one, and the drawing notes. The drawing views are the easiest part of a drawing to understand because they're very graphical. These include orthographic views, isometric views, and auxiliary views such as section or broken out views. The drawing title block is also pretty straightforward as it contains important information like the drawing title, the drawing author, and the drawing revision information. Next, we have the tolerance table. Every dimension on an engineering detail drawing must have a tolerance associated with it or the manufacturer will not know how close is good enough to meet the designer's engineering intent. Another way to think of tolerances is as an error band. In other words, what is our allowance for error for each part feature? If I dimension a feature as one inch, it's very important that the manufacturer knows how close to one inch do I really need it. If it could be one inch plus or minus a quarter of an inch, that's very different than if I require the feature to be one inch plus or minus five thousandths of an inch. The smaller the tolerance, the higher the price, and the relationship is exponential. Since we can now understand why it's so important that every dimension on a detail drawing have a proper tolerance associated with it, we can talk about a tolerance table. The lower right hand quadrant of the drawing on the screen shows an example of a tolerance table. The function of a tolerance table is simply to unclutter a detailed drawing by grouping dimensions with identical tolerances. In the case of this particular detailed drawing, you will see that the tolerance table is divided into four different operations. Machining, cutoff, welding, and angular dimensions. For each operation, there is an associated tolerance depending on the number of decimal places in the dimension on the drawing. As an example, note that the Cartesian coordinates for the whole locations in the view shown on the screen all have three decimal places. Since these fall under the category of machining operations, we know what row to reference in our tolerance table and we simply match the number of decimals in the dimension. In this example, the associated tolerance would be plus or minus five thousandths of an inch for each of these three decimal place dimensions. A final comment about tolerance tables is that using one never limits your freedom to specify the exact tolerances you want for any dimension on your drawing. As an example, let's look at the inner bore diameter for this wheel hub. The nominal dimension is .3125 and the tolerance is plus one thousandth of an inch to plus two thousandths of an inch. Any dimension with an explicit tolerance, such as this one, overrides the values noted in the tolerance table. That way, you have the flexibility of using the tolerance table to unclutter many of the dimensions on the drawing, yet the power to specify the exact tolerances you want for each and every feature on your part drawing. The final region of a proper engineering detail drawing is the notes section. This section contains information that is not specific to any particular drawing view, but rather to all views and the entire part as a whole. As an example, the notes on our drawing indicate we will make one part, all the dimensions on the drawing are in inches, the part will be made from aluminum, all surfaces on the part will be machined or finished surfaces, which we will demonstrate later in this video series, and finally, the instructions tell the manufacturer to break all edges, which means deburr all sharp edges and corners so that nobody could be injured when handling our part after manufacturing. 